When a museum takes a traveling exhibition rather than organizing one itself, it reduces the amount of work for the staff, but there is still quite a bit to do. Watch the preparations for the exhibition Revelation, Major Paintings by Jules Olitsky, opening May 31st. Just getting the paintings into the Toledo Museum of Art's main building is a major project requiring a large team of people. When works of art are shipped, they are always double-packed. That means that inside one padded shipping crate, there is another padded crate or other package. Double packing lessens the possibility that there will be moisture or shock damage to the work of art. However, it also means that there is a large truck filled with very large and heavy crates that must be unloaded one at a time. The museum's art handlers, contract art handlers brought in for the occasion, and staff from the trunking company move the crates to a freight elevator to be taken up to the main exhibition gallery. Once there, Andrea Mall, the TMA's associate registrar, directs them to the part of the gallery where the paintings will be hung. And then it's back down for another load. It took two days for the paintings in this exhibition to be unloaded. Very occasionally, a crate is too big to fit into the museum's freight elevator. In that case, and with the permission of the owner, the outer crate is opened on the museum's loading dock and the inner crate is removed. Once the inner crate is out, it is strapped to a slanting picture truck and moved up to the gallery. Normally, the inner crates are brought to the gallery still inside the outer crate. Once in the gallery, they are left for a day to acclimate to the temperature and humidity inside the museum. A slow adjustment is easier on the works of art. Once the crates have acclimated, they can be opened and the inner crate removed. Notice that in the background, Andrea Phillips, the registrar from the Kemper Museum in Kansas City, which organized the exhibition, is supervising the uncrating. Once the inner crate is opened, the first thing that happens is that all of the art handlers put on rubber gloves. As we constantly remind museum visitors, our hands and fingers carry dirt and oils which can damage a work of art. Museum staff always wear gloves of some kind when handling works of art. The painting is removed from the inner crate and put in its position in the exhibition. Finally, either the TMA's or the Kemper's registrar makes a detailed examination of the work of art, comparing it to notes made at the time it was packed for shipment from its previous venue. And we do mean a detailed examination. Next, the paintings will be put in their final order in the exhibition. They will be hung on the wall and lit properly, 
and labels will be added.